Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Katuri and this is Leo Tuna Picasso answering that daily question on what to cook. So today you may be wondering what are we making? We're making chicken samosas that have cumin and green onions. So to start us off, we're going to start by poaching the chicken and these are the ingredients we need. We have our boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I have two pairs. We have the aromatics that will flavor the water for poaching the chicken. We have dried bay leaves. These ones you can get from the local supermarket. We have salt, some black peppercorns because holy grail of cooking, rosemary leaves, and then some garlic cloves. So we are going to get started. So this is pretty simple. Take your sufuria, add in your chicken breasts, just as they are whole, no need to cut them up. Then you add in the aromatics. These are the bay leaves, the salt, the black pepper. If you're wondering, the measurements and the ingredients will be on my blog, leotunapika.com. I'll leave a link down in the description box. And then the rosemary leaves, I'm using two twigs. Add in. Now for the garlic, to get maximum flavor, this is how you do it. You just take your knife, this side, then smash. Smash, that's how it is. You remove the peel toss it in. So we're doing that for the rest of the garlic cloves. So yeah, that smash and put them in. So it's as simple as that. Poaching is just boiling taken up a notch. You flavor the water with the, your aromatics of choice. And you, as you can see, mine are rosemary, bay leaves, garlic, black pepper, and salt. So now that we've added this, we finish off by adding a big jug of water to cover the chicken completely so you start with cold water and there you have it chicken in the poaching liquid next we are going to put it on the stove top and then let it simmer over medium high heat for 30 to for 30 to 40 minutes until the chicken is well done So as the chicken is poaching, we'll prepare the green onions that will be used later on to make the chicken samosas. So after 40 minutes, our chicken breasts are done. So they are completely poached. For the liquid, please, and I beg you, do not uh, throw it away. This is perfect for steaming some rice. If you're trying to make pilau, you can use it. So do not keep it. This is liquid gold. And now, we get to the second part of making the chicken samosas after poaching the chicken and you know when you're making samosas you must have these little guys with you the green onions they are perfect they bring that pop of flavor they have this sharp onion taste that just works perfect in samosas so we're going to chop them up as we're chopping them up we're going to add cumin seeds here are the cumin seeds we're going to roast them in a pan just no oil for like two minutes to just bring out the aroma just toss as they are roasting we get to chopping our green onions shy with the onions you can put as much as you like because you want to you want every samosa to have a touch of the onion so you want to every bite you take at least you have that touch of the green onions which are so perfect in almost all types of samosas be it vegetable beef samosas or as we are making chicken samosas so remember your cumin toss it you want it to smell fragrant. Already my kitchen is filled with that starting to smell of cumin. So put it aside. Then in the same pan, we'll add a tablespoon or so of oil then fry up our onions as our onions are frying we shred the chicken breasts so now as the onions are frying we are shredding our chicken so just take your knife angle and try to thinly slice 
when you mix in the chicken with the onions it will sort of it will separate further so don't worry the reason why i prefer shredding the chicken as opposed to working with chicken that has been minced you want when you bite into the samosa you taste the chicken minced chicken sometimes has a way of tasting a bit uh feeling a bit powdery of sorts so it's best you shred so that you leave texture there so that's our fast chicken breast shredded so as you see it's very soft and juicy because of the poaching so even when you're making things like you can make sandwiches using this chicken yeah it's perfect for such things such feelings so now what is left is once the chicken is shredded the onions are cooked but not all the way through you'll add the roasted cumin seeds we add the shredded chicken and combine and start to just get everything mixed then we give it a taste for salt and then we adjust accordingly and finally we'll be ready to fill up these babies i know you can't wait So now the fun part, filling up the pockets. I've already filled out a few. I want to show you how we go about it. So you take the half moon shape, then you fold it like this. Let it one flap, the big flap to fall on your side. Then you use some edible glue. This edible glue is just flour with water, the all purpose flour with water to make a paste. Then using a brush again or a or your hands you brush this the side that is left then you fold it over here so we folded it over to form the pocket now there you have your pocket so take your spoon put in your filling about two thirds in like this there'll be an, an a flap this part that is empty that will be to cover and make the samosa shape. So you put your filling, there you have it, like this. Then again, with your brush, brush your edible glue, then fold it over tightly, fold, then empty end, fold, and there goes your samosa triangle shape. So it's as simple as that taking the end, flapping, putting the glue, closing it, putting the filling, then closing the pocket. And then do you remember the ones that didn't come out, that don't come out well when you're making the pockets, at times the others are tear. So you can cut them into small triangles and fry them up to make some tortilla chips, or as I like to call them crackers or crackers, depending on what accent you yes ascribe to so yeah we get to frying oh one thing i need to mention before you start filling up ensure that your oil is already heating up since you are deep frying so you when deep frying you want your oil to be extremely hot so that once you put whatever it is you're deep frying whether it's samosas or fries they don't soak up the oil they just start frying immediately <music> samosas chicken samosas then they look amazing so for samosas always serve them with a dip this is a tamarind dip that i made for some bajia so it's leftover but if you want the recipe for it i'll leave a link down in the description box so yeah moment of truth take your samosa dip nice moment I believe you had the crunch when I bit into the samosa. You can taste the chicken, the cumin, and of course the green onion. So guys, what are you waiting for? Try out this recipe today. For more recipes, check leotunapika.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Gatweri, saying kwaheri. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course, leave a comment. <laughs>